This is very relevant to most businesses today. Data is gold today. Data is the gold of our current time. Everything is centered around data. Rather you're in real estate or any industry, the big money is about data. Who has data? Where can you get it? And what can you do with it? What you need to identify is the data acquisition to procurement and final result. Between here and here, you're acquiring data and then you have your result and this is all procurement. How you turn that basic data into the result that you're seeking. And in my case, we're targeting properties. That's the acquisition. We do a bunch of procurement in the middle and then the result should be something that a real estate agent can use to actually perform productive activity on that data. And there may be steps beyond this, like further procurement. In our case, the real estate agent is gonna use this data further to collect additional information. And then that's gonna get put back into our system. So that's like another procurement. And then you have the final product. So let's go into the process. You need to identify different layers. We're calling these layers of change that occur along the process. And what we're trying to achieve is basically like an assembly line. This is going to help you 10X your business, like get to the next level. This is going to help you do research at scale efficiently, and you're gonna have a process on how to do that. Someone's acquiring data, that gets passed on to layer two. They acquire the data, you check it off, looks good. Transfer it over. This is another person now. So one person is just doing this. Now you have a layer of procurement. You acquired the data, someone's going to procure that data, they're going to make some kind of change to it, some kind of addition. Once they make that addition, it goes on to the next person. They're going to make another layer of addition. And then layer four, you have your final product that the customer is going to use. And maybe beyond this, you have other layers. Maybe they're going to get information on that in the way that they use it and maybe you go into layer five and like you're in production now. That's our case. At layer five, we're in full production. The software is built out. We haven't even finished our software and we're moving full speed ahead. We're getting ready to start generating business ahead of schedule by using this process and to have data ready before the software is even built. If you're in a stage where you haven't even started cooperating with a developer, moving the project forward in this way. You don't even need software. We're using Google Spreadsheets. Doing this can help substantiate your project, help substantiate valuation. None of this is like legal or financial advice. I'm just telling you out of experience and how things have been going for me. We already have something that's being developed, but I'm saying if you don't, doing this might be able to help substantiate your case in cooperating with a developer. I already have a research team, they're doing this, we're getting this much data, we're, we're ready to go, we just gotta build the software, man. Might help you form a partnership. So, layers. Now, within these layers, to maximize efficiency here, you can have multiple people working in each layer. You just divide it up. You have what you're targeting, data acquisition. We're dividing it amongst multiple people. So you have a person here, you have a person here, a person here, a person here. All right, four different people on this layer and then all of their data is going to get shifted when it's completed. You check it off, it's all good. You shift it over to layer two and you're going to distribute it as needed. You're gonna to have to balance kind of like a supply demand situation. Who's doing a great job? They need more data. They're going super fast. Give more to this person. This person needs some data, give more to this person. Person, person, person. You're going to distribute the data to these people. When our software is done, it's going to do this automatically. It's like a pool of data and the pool just gets distributed. Whoever's ready to take on the next thing, it just comes out of the pool. This is a manual way of doing that if you're using Google Spreadsheets and you're just getting off the ground. This is like data management. And we really just kicked off this project like a month ago, started getting our first round of investment and we're already here. We're already planning for full scalability and you got to be thinking like that. If you want to move quick, you got to be thinking like this. You have no idea how easy it could be if you put the pieces in place. If you have the system organized. The way that we're doing it is a copy, paste, delete. But there's many ways. If you want to stack the layer with all the progress that it was done, but that gets messy. So you probably want to do copy, paste, and delete. And that way you have a clean sheet the data just keeps moving 
rather than having sticky data where it's like it accumulates, you move it over and it continues to accumulate. So what you probably want to do is copy it, paste it into the next layer and then delete it. And now you have fresh work to be done. You keep moving it over onto the next layer. Another three people here, boom, boom, boom. And what's amazing about this is that recruiting people should be very easy because you're giving them simple tasks. This is all you need to do. Just acquire data. Just boom, 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 boom. Next person, this is all you need to do. Just do this thing, procurement. One level of procurement, simple task. This is basically an assembly line in the modern world, right? Just like I think Henry Ford, he made the car assembly line. Someone puts on the wheel, boom, next part. Someone puts on this thing, puts on the door, next part, move it over. Efficient process. This is a modern version of that for data. It's the same process, but in a modern way. So we're doing an assembly line for data. And this makes it very efficient, easy to get people involved because the work isn't complicated. It's very simple work. And by having multiple people operating on these layers, you can achieve such an efficiency. You have multiple of them working on each layer. So even if they're just doing like 20 bits of data a day, let's just assume the work is all evened out. Every process is the same amount of effort needed. So you're trying to achieve 20 on each per person. With just 20 as a goal, you can have four people here and you're achieving 80. Or maybe some of them are doing a great job. Some of them are doing 40 and you keep track of that. You reward those people. Eventually, maybe they become a manager. When your corporate structure builds, the best person out of this moves up to a manager position or something to train further people. I'm just giving you some examples of how this can cause layers within your organization, within your corporate structure as a whole. Very efficient process. What this should result in is that you have a continuous moving process, a continuous flow of data. The data keeps flowing. If someone here gets like stuck, you can bring another person right into the process or you could transfer their work to someone else. In like server terminology, like internet servers, they call this like load balancing. So. In a way, you can perform load balancing. You can regulate the supply and demand as it's needed in your data. You can move data over or you can move people over. Maybe you need more work in layer three because layer three is really difficult. It's the final step or something and it takes the most amount of time. So these people, they're like really cranking up the data, right? These people are doing great. This guy, not so good. You just take someone from here and move them over. You have an assembly line and you can move people and data accordingly, allowing for a continuous flow so that this flow never stops. Because for us, once we're in production, our consumption of data is gonna be very high. The amount of final procured data that we're going to be using, we'll just say like result, this is our result. The amount of procured data, the results that we get out of this process that we're going to be using on a daily basis, in theory, uh, seems like something that can get very high. In my case, I'm dealing with real estate agents that are calling. And when I think about it, you know, a real estate agent, they could call five people a day starting off. They could totally go up to like 10, maybe even 20. So now you have someone that's consuming 20, what would you call it? Let's just say leads. They're consuming 20 leads. We'll call this final product leads. This is where the leads are. This is what we're trying to achieve. They're calling 20 leads a day. You ought to hope you're cranking out 20 leads to compensate that every day. You start bringing on more people. Now you have five people. Maybe they're calling 20. And I don't think we're going to get to 20. My conservative estimate is five. You have five people calling five leads a day. That's 25. You want to up your team to, to 20 now. Now you have 20 people calling five leads a day. Maybe you bump the number up to 10. Now you have 20 people calling 10 people a day. You see how it can be strenuous when you're dealing in businesses that use data. Data is like a bottleneck in many businesses. Your need for data is so important in modern businesses, especially like if you're in AI or something or machine learning, right? You're dealing with a lot of data and you need to make sure you have a continuous flow of data or the process will halt. And that's not good. 
You want this process to continue for the sake of your reputation, for the sake of continuous progress forward in your business. Having an assembly line process like this will allow you to be flexible, to move pieces where needed, and ensure that that flow never stops. The flow of data should never stop. That's like one of our goals here. It just keeps going. Research doesn't stop because our consumption rate is gonna be high. We need to keep up with the demand. We must always have at least equal or more supply than the amount of data being consumed or you're running into a data deficit. <laughs> and that's dangerous because suddenly you need to explain to everyone, listen, we gotta take a break for a few days. We ran out of data. We're trying to fix the problem. That's no good. Data needs to continue so people can keep working on the final product or whatever it is that you're doing. So that's the process there, and we're hoping to transition within the next two months from Google Sheets to actual in-house software, and we're gonna have someone basically just transfer all of this data. And what's great is that's just adding another person. Depending on how you're transferring it, I'll put T for transfer. You're just getting a person here to do that process. And then whoever's in this layer, you're just moving them into the system. You got to do a transfer on layer three. You find someone to do that. And then whoever's working on layer three, these people, you just transfer them into the system. They just get onboarded onto layer three when your software is done and you don't have to use Google Sheets. If you're already past Google Sheets and you're watching this, that's great. I'm showing you how you can level up your business if you're dealing with data acquisition, and procurement. My name is Vasilios Kamboris. I really hope this video helped you. The whole goal of this is to help entrepreneurs start businesses, to see what's possible. If you don't have a business yet, to try to look at the world and think, huh, you know, ideally this thing would be impossible. That's the case of my business. What we're doing is insane in terms of our data acquisition. To try to do something like this is crazy, especially when I was doing it as one person for months, but I was determined and I learned how to do it. And I, I cranked out so much and then I realized, you know, we need a process for this. We need people. This is too much. I can't keep doing this. Eventually I need to manage other kinds of people. I need to manage real estate agents. I need to manage this, administration, funding, dealing with investors. Eventually, you move up into management and you need people to do research. You need to transfer, delegate the responsibility. So this helps you see what's possible. If people could be organized in this kind of fashion, allowing for a certain level of productive activity and an efficient process of research, suddenly certain industries or certain ideas that may have seemed unfeasible to begin with suddenly become something that's a reality something that's possible. You just need an efficient process to achieve it. Suddenly it's achievable. That's our case. For months I was doing layer one to four all by myself, the whole process. And I learned how to break it down. And then I got some friends involved. I have someone on layer one, layer two. Hey, let's create a layer three. We'll get someone to do that. Let's create a layer four. Whoa, now we have a really efficient process. Once again, my name is Vasilios Kamboris. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.